Hello and welcome to Dolmic Aqua Designs. In today's video, I will be sharing with you my very disappointing experience with grapevine wood. So you might be surprised to hear that I don't really like this dead wood, especially since I've told multiple times that I really like this aquarium and this aquascape. And this is true, I really enjoy this aquascape. However, and even though the Deadwood has a nice layout in this aquarium, in itself, I really don't enjoy this type of wood. And I have many reasons for this. When I initially bought these pieces of Deadwood, I was really drawn to this particular type of Deadwood because it had nice colors and nice textures. The pieces of wood had some cool patches of brown and light colors, which made them really interesting to look at. And this is why I initially bought these pieces, because I thought that they would bring nice color, nice texture to the aquarium. And so what quickly happened with these pieces of wood is that they turned to a solid brown, which in itself is not bad, but since I had specifically bought the pieces of dead wood because they had these different colors, you can understand that for me it was a pretty disappointing experience. Another thing also with the grapevine dead wood is that it is really lightweight. And so when I was initially building this aquascape, it was super hard to have these pieces stay in place and get waterlogged. Most of them, I had to put them in water buckets for months, hoping to get them to sink and be waterlogged enough. And some other pieces, I just straight up had to glue down on some pieces of rock or on the aquarium glass, just because they were not staying in place. And this is why I prefer other types of dead wood that are hardwood and sink better. Like for example, eucalyptus roots. These types of dead wood first of all, are really interesting, all these different textures that you see, but they're also a piece of dead wood that is quite heavy and dense. And usually they'll take maybe a week or two to get fully waterlogged, but then they will sink and stay in the aquarium, which is not something that was the case with this grapevine dead wood. And lastly, there was another thing that was quite impressive and it was the biofilm that initially develops on these types of wood. So I read online and actually these types of dead wood, they're known to contain high levels of sugar. And so when you put them in your aquarium, you'll get these fungal and bacterial blooms. And actually I've made a video on it before and it's quite impressive. You have these huge amounts of biofilm and it's quite impressive and <laughs> spooky. And since grapevine dead wood is actually a soft type of wood, it is also quite fragile and it breaks down really fast in your aquarium, which for me is a big issue because it releases all these particles in the water, which makes it so hard to maintain a clean aquarium. But all the points that I've found with this dead wood might not be as negative as I think. It really depends on your setup and the types of animals that you have with your dead wood. For example, this might be interesting if you have an aquarium full of shrimp, because the shrimp could feed off the pieces of biofilm that grows on that dead wood and also could sort through the mulm that is released. And so overall, that's my experience with this type of dead wood. And so I hope that my experience will help you out when you're going to be buying pieces of dead wood for your next aquarium or aquascape. If you found this video interesting, please consider dropping a like and a subscribe. If you're interested in the aquascape in the aquarium that's featured in this video, I've made a whole video on how I aquascape this aquarium and I've linked it right here. And so that will be all for today and I hope to see you in the next one.